Uh, what's up guys, it's Captain Rex Production 72 and welcome to another video. Today we're reviewing 75093 Death Star Duel, ages 8 to 14. This set is from 2015 and I don't know the piece count or the price because there's no price on the box and because I never use what it is and because of the country I live in, there is no piece count. But yeah. Set has five minifigures, two of which were new at the time, and those minifigures are no longer. It, like, there's no exclusive minifigs to this set, so the figs you can find another set, so um, they're not really a drive for this set. For instance, the Royal Guards come in a battle pack, Emperor's in a book, and he's in some other set, sets, and the most recent Darth Vader's transformation. Darth Vader the, is in his TIE Fighter and A Wing set, and the transformation. And it looks also in the advent calendar, and there could be some other sets I'm not thinking of, but yeah. So, let's get into the minifigures. So, the first minifig is Luke Skywalker. Got very basic detail. This set is based off Return of the Jedi. Got green lightsaber for gunmetal, no, um, sort of a you know, steel hilt, black legs, got sort of a belt buckle, got sort of leather clothing, got some back printing of a pouch, double sided face, got kind of a grumpy face, and sort of a happy face. Next one, if I got, was one of the best figs in the set, but personally, I prefer the original Darth Vader minifig, so. It's got all, basically, this is the same minifig from the Star Destroyer from 2014, only this is when they decided to up Vader's helmet, so very basic Darth Vader, got some white printing, nothing under the cape, red lightsaber. But the thing about this Vader is his helmet is in two pieces, you do get a spare one of those bottom pieces, which um, moves around, I got a white head, my mouth is a bit faded because that tends to happen with this helmet, but yeah. Head helmet is in two parts. Now I just show you the other part, but yeah, show you the face. It's got a white face, rings under his eyes. But yeah, next minute I got is Emperor Palpatine. He does have a red lightsaber on this set, but there's a feature but with that, so I'll show you that soon. Got sort of his face, got his robes, got his lightning. This when you figure was not new at the time. Um, previously he's in a 2014 book, I think. The Darksiders book, I may have reviewed that, I'm not sure. But yeah, um, nothing under the back of the cape. This is before we got that new cape material. I think we only got that in 2015. Got the same lightning pieces he's had since... What to say, 2000 and... Eight with the Death Star, I don't know. Got sort of a happy evil face, and he's got sort of his face when he's electrocuting Luke. But yeah, that's Emperor Palpatine. Next one I forgot. We got the Royal Guard. Many fig. This many forgot was newly designed in two thousand fourteen. Got his weapon, which is a bit of like a force pike. Take that helmet off, just very basic detailing, red head. Have under the cape, got that sort of a dark red arm, sort of like the reminds me of the Chancellor Palpatine minifig from 09 with the Venator in a way. Keep dropping this minifig, but yeah. Yeah, two of him, so looking for a royal guard, it's a good set. Um so move the minifigs and I'll get to the instruction manual towards the end, but yeah, here is the final duel. Mine's a bit dusty even though I only rebuilt it a couple of days ago. But yeah. So here's the final duel. So we'll start here, we've got some of these nice cone pieces and a triangle shape. This um those doors slide open and get a really cool cool view of Palpatine's chair from up there. Um Got some tile pieces at the front. You turn it around to this angle, you can see the stairs. Got this viewport. 
Now this can extend out if I unclip these from these clip pieces and well that's a feature I'll get onto and you unclip that those turn round to the back and this is free to come forward on a sort of a Technic system but yeah so I turn this round we're going to the first of the features so you can see there's a sort of a plank that comes up here I'll zoom in there's a plank that comes up now basically on the box I think it tells you just then um, take look Skywalker him standing there well I try again there's a couple of features for you if flick characters around in this set very good for features basically all of them involve flicking Skywalker got no more features um, apart from the doors which slide out on stoppers the next feature I think um, basically you take Luke, you put him on the steps kind of have him fighting Darth Vader put Vader there basically a Technic system if you can see that and it takes out two stairs so I just um, put those stairs back on you can tell which ones it is because it's got it's covered in studs when other ones only have two studs each so in this kind of mechanism here I'll show you without look really cool uh, mechanism The next, um, well it's not really a feature but it's an exceptionally cool detail, is this system here. These do go up and down even though it's not movie really accurate. But the cool thing about these is, like, look, Skywalker jumps in the middle of them like he does in the film where I'll put him up on the top one. Well, you can't really get him to stand in it too well, like he does in the film because he'll just fall, but yeah. So the next um, feature in this set of features is this one. So there's a scene in um, Return of the Jedi World where Luke is refusing to fight Vader and Vader is on the ground so we'll put him here. And basically he throws the lightsaber at Luke. He does throw it at a top beam but to remake that scene, just go to this. And it takes out the catwalk. So a simple system, I'll show you again without, um, without Luke, I'll just put Luke here. And basically, it's got a small hole piece and it just flicks out like that and it's on a system so the whole thing doesn't come off. But yeah, we've also got sort of a viewport, opens up, don't know why you'd want it to. Now on this side there is no feature, basically there is this, it's the piece called the hole where Luke throws, well Vader throws the Emperor. Sort of, you got the shaft details, got some sort of, um, well, barriers stuck from falling. Those are those pieces that got the Emperor's throne right there. I've got some controls, got the window behind him. And right now, I'm just gonna put Palpatine in his throne so you can take his lightning pieces. And, well, there's nowhere to keep his lightning, but they do put provide a place for the lightsaber. So basically you put Palpatine in there. He's thrown a limb. I'll show you guys that. So yeah, that's Palpatine and he's thrown. And yeah, that's um, how that works. Um, so we'll turn, it, turn the set around this way. Move the lightning pieces off to the side. Before I forget, the guards are supposed to, they can go here, but um, I think in the film they're actually in the room when they're fighting, but Palpatine does tell them to leave, I think. Not seen the film probably. Basically the guards just go there. So if I turn the whole set round, it's a system, it's a system. But, take that off, then. It's a bit hard to do, let me see if I can get it in there. So 
This system does not want, appear to want to work today. So that is a bit of an issue and I broke Palpatine's chair in the process, but <laughs> Yeah, I think I've got it. I do believe his lightsaber should be sticking at the bottom, but uh, it's not working for some reason. So I'll put, I'll put that piece back on and close it on up. But basically I'll show you on the box as a feature. Maybe I've we've got pieces fall, falling off during the transportation, but yeah, I don't know. So we've got these um, clips here at the sides. Basically that just clips on like that. So to move Vader, uh, prop that back up. You can have Oak and Vader fighting on the stairs. There's loads of really cool positions you can put the characters in. So you can have them fighting there, or you could have Palpatine falling through there, which I'll um, show you how that would look. So basically, take Palpatine, drop him down, and here's how that looks. Just um, unclip that so I can have the means to show you. Basically, there's a hole in the bottom so you can retrieve Palpatine. And there, there he is. So, yeah, on to the box. Basically, the box shows you almost everything I showed you, pretty much, I think. Not looked at this box for a while, but yeah, you guys can pretty much see it's a standard box. Yeah, got the Stormtrooper up in the background, got the minifigures, got basically the battle scene from the film, taking Vader's head off, Disney logo, logo not head helmet, 75093, Death Star Duel, 14 got the level symbol. On the back, it does show you all the features from the film. And it turns out that I was wrong. There was no feature for flicking up his lightsaber. It's just it's just a holder. <laughs> I actually thought there was a feature for flicking the lightsaber. So it appears I'm wrong, wrong. So catwalk coming out, stairs coming out, Luke Skywalker jumping, the doors, the turning feature, the throwing palpatine down the shaft. Since on the film, they meant forgot to bring them, but there's handcuffs in this set. Basic ones you get in the Lego City set. So I'll just show you. Features, all the, all the scenes from the Star Wars film. Right, so the last thing to show you guys is the instruction manual. Same artwork as the box. Like StarWars.com. This instruction manual has a total of 53 steps. So I'll show you guys, 53, but there is quite a lot of sub-steps in the back of the instruction manual. It does show you the parts list, because it doesn't have a Lego set. Other Lego sets from 2015, Flash Speeder, Naboo Starfighter, Final Duel, that's that set, Imperial Shuttle, and I can't actually remember the name of that set. But yeah, these are all the minifigures on that line, Battle Droid. Gungan, Captain Panaka, Nabu Officer, Battle Droid, Nabu Pilot, Obi Wan, Anakin, R2 D2, Darth Vader, Luke Skywalker, Emperor Palpatine, Royal Guard, Han Solo, Chewbacca, Princess Leia, Endor Guys, Imperial Officer, Agent Callus, TIE Fighter Pilot, Sabine Wren, and an Astromech. Do I recommend this set? Yes, I do. It's a really cool set. Um, I would not buy this one for the minifigs, considering the minifigs in this are relatively cheap. The Royal Guards are in the Battle Pack, Luke's in the Advent Calendar, so he'll be cheap. Vader's in two other sets. Apart from the transformation, as an orange face, but... Yeah. You're really buying this set for the features, it has all those features, but... Yeah, and that's the end of this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more reviews, more mocks, and... If you want to check out any more reviews on big sets, I've already done the Public Attack Shuttle and I've done the Twilight, the two big other biggest sets I've reviewed. So yeah, like, comment and subscribe. Like the video. Bye.